What is up, my crazy bit of Vaticonians? My name is Vareko, you can call me V, and welcome back to Jurassic World, the game. I know I've been gone for some time now, <laughs> to say the very least, but I'm trying to get back into this as much as I can. The problem with it being so I just moved back home, so it's like kind of hard getting everything set up and working as and when I need to. Uh, today's actually fortunately a day of one of days over like six days off, so hopefully we're going to be able to get some videos recorded for the future and hopefully back into the flow of it guys so thank you all so much for your continuing support it's been absolutely crazy as per usual with my supporters y'all are usually as crazy as i am so yay <laughs> anyway let's go ahead and get past the cringy as hell yay yeah okay cool right i'm gonna go ahead and do our race if you haven't raced me before what you need to do is you need to be in full screen exit full screen and like the video and the time it takes me to get a creature to level five or level nine or whatever let's go ahead and pick one i think this triceratops will do come on Pick it. There we go. Fantastic. So I've got to get this guy to level 5 and the time it needs you takes you to go exit full screen. Like the video or re-enter full screen. Okay. If you beat me, comment down below with a funny unique insult. I'm going to be pinning the funniest insult or the best comment of the video from there here on in. So make sure you do take part. And at the count of three, we'll get this started. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I'm going really slow. What's going on? Oh, I've not been practicing. That was super slow. That was like four seconds. Oh my wow. Oh, that, yeah. I've got no comment. <laughs> right, guys, what we're going to go ahead and do is, um, well, this. We've got three events. I was going to do some uh, Battle Stage Infinite sort of grindage, but we don't really need to because that's an infinite, a mystery pack, sorry. And I've already done so many of them, and it's starting to wind me up that I'm only getting mystery pack, common, mystery pack. Common. That's all I've had in the past, like, eight days. I'm not even joking. It's an absolute Mickey take at this point. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with the Terror Saw Terror because it's a boosted event. Then we'll probably crack into the Arena Showcase because uh, we need to do the one battle, I believe, which is um, actually probably the best thing to do first, considering it's like the one I can get the most stuff from because it's a legendary pack. So let's go ahead and do that first, actually. <laughs> we won't even need to use that good of creatures, to be honest. Like, these, like, legit, that, that's all I'm going to need to use. Like, uh, that's uh, fairly easy. I'm going to build a few reserves here because this dude can't really do much. Uh, hopefully he goes for an attack at some point. Uh, yeah, there we go. Two attacks. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> right, two attacks kills him. One reserve. Next time he can't kill me with two attacks either. So we're gonna just gonna continuously build this uh what's I'm looking for. Um we really don't know the word I'm looking for at this point. <laughs> so we'll quickly load up. We may hear a few clicks quickly just because I'm just checking the recording software because it's been a while. <laughs> so let's be very, very careful. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. Right. Two attacks, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, two reserves. I assume he's gone for a two attacks, which he clearly had. Uh, he's only taken us down by about 1300 damage with twos, so... 650, so about 325 per one. Uh, yeah, he can... Uh, he might be able to kill me here, I'm not certain, actually. I'm not really good at doing that. Uh, with, well, the bonus like math, though. I am, I am actually usually quite good, but I'm kind of not right now, because I'm not trying to concentrate on it. <laughs> it feels weird recording again, so the very least, especially, like, completely different setup in a different area. Uh, to where I'm usually set up, so... It's uh, definitely different, but it's not a bad different, guys. Not a bad different. Let's go ahead and get the legendary pack. Let's, I, I take it back every single time I get to end. Easiest legendary pack ever. Easiest, this was the easiest legendary pack ever. Oh, no DNA. That's a massive bummer. A thousand bucks, I'll take it. And a Dimetrodon, which means we're actually super close to getting a prior Trudon for free. I say for free, but, well, um, for using one, I should say. So, how many have I got? So, Carnivores, Dimetrodon, I've got seven. So, I only need, how many have I got? Got zero, so okay, I've got to buy one. Uh, prior no Sucus, I've got to buy three. I think, like, between them, the Dimetrodon will probably cost me 3,000, the Prior no will cost me 12. That's about 15,000 for what would have been like 39,000, so that's a 24,000 gain essentially. Obviously, uh, without the sort of discrepancy of breeding and breeding, I hope not, smashing them together in a genetics lab, uh, which is uh, about 4,000, so about 20,000 uh, DNA saved right there, so that's not bad at all. Obviously, we're not going to go ahead and do that just yet, we're going to keep saving until we've got all eight. Um, and that way we don't have to worry about sort of losing out any DNA whilst we're waiting to uh, save them all up. As you can see, we've got about a minute before these power solar offices uh, are fully refreshed. We're trying to get to uh, 370,000 DNA in this episode. And I was relying on that legendary pack to give me that. But it's all good. I'm sure we'll be fine. Uh, right, we need some decent herbivores, but we don't want to use our best ones just yet. So we'll go ahead and go you you and you. The reason I don't want to use my best one yet, my Weirosaurus, uh, it's just because obviously we're going to be... Oh, and boosters. I forgot that. Right, we can actually probably get rid of um, Yuna there, and we can probably use something else, to be honest. Um, Spinoraptor. 
And the only reason I don't want to be using that is because I want to sort of um, save it. And we want to use a decent, 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 and decent. Uh, the only thing is, I've not been doing the Raptor thing like I planned to every single day, which is a big bummer because I feel like that could have sort of bridged the gap, but they have definitely nerfed it from what we're aware. Oh wow, plus 50% straight off the bat. Basically guarantees that Antarctic Delta has got a decent amount of health right there. 3,000. Uh, he can survive a fair beating this. We're going to go for one reserve here just because the next turn we've got plus three action points. Um, that'll really give me sort of a uh, diverse portfolio of what I can do. Oh my god, I sound like a posh douchebag. <laughs> There we go, he's gone for one attack, potentially one block then. That's not too bad, to be honest. Plus three action points. Uh, plus. Right, so we need to go for three to kill him. Do I think he's gone for a block? No. Do I care if he's if he has? No, because we're still doing enough damage to sort of make sure that next turn we can kill him. So, he's got two. Uh, I'm hoping then, we, what we can do is we can take away two action points next turn. So if he goes for two attacks here, well, that's the only thing he can really do any decent uh, sort of move with, so it's not a major issue. Uh, we'll take away two action points next turn, though, meaning he's only got a potential of one action point. Uh, I'm not sure if he'll be able to kill me with one attack, so that's fine. We can kill him with one. We'll go for one block and then four reserves. That way we've got a massive eight attacks next turn uh, if we need to use them. And then we can use the plus three attacks, meaning we can get the attacks in without having to sacrifice any blocks or reserves. So that's actually fairly useful, to be honest. So he's got one. What's he going to do? Potential one block, one reserve, one attack. We'll soon see what he does. He goes for the attack, so he's got zero blocks, zero reserves. We can kill him in what I believe to be three attacks, so we can actually go for three attacks for, and then four blocks, four reserves. So let's have a look. Three attacks. That gives him me 3300 damage. Yep, we can kill him. We go for four reserves, four blocks. Regardless, next turn, he cannot kill me. In the following turn, we kill him. Easy peasy. We could actually have just done this with the Antarctic Pelter, considering it's a boosted battle. I should really have considered that, but it's absolutely fine. Uh, the This is the only event that we really need to do, as well as the Monsters of the Deep event as well. And to be honest, we've kind of just checked on him. Yeah, just checking it was the right microphone this recording. <laughs> it seemed a bit quiet rather than usual. Uh, there we go, and he's dead this turn. So, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If I get max 8 damage, that's what, 20, so that's about, what, 16,000? You're just under, there we go, 15,990, not too shabby. Right, that was, um, pretty easy. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'll see myself, myself. So, 50 DNA again, every little helps. Oh, right, okay. Um, I'm seeing where this is going, to be honest. Uh, you know what, it's going to be probably a fairly easy battle, so we're just going to go ahead and stick in the Unirinkus as our final creature. We're going to go ahead and go for mid uh, decents again. We'll take away the action points just because they're better, and the plus action points just because we need it, and then we'll do another 50% just... Mm, oh, do you think we can get away with a plus 6 block instead? Yeah, I think we can. So we'll go ahead and go with a plus 6 block, and we'll start again. It's cost me quite a bit of coin. As you can see, my coins have gone down, but that's only because they keep offering coins for food or coins for DNA, and that's fantastic. Right, plus 3 attack straight off the bat. Uh, we could probably kill this one, to be honest. Um, you know what? I can't see an issue with that. I really can't. Uh, let's go ahead and go plus three. I think it gets 27. Oh, that's a 27, 2800. Beat me to it, though. Uh, and then we'll just add one more attack. I know we're basically dead next turn, but it means he has to go for flat out two attacks anyway. Uh, and then it doesn't really matter, because we're basically leading towards Trudon being a bullet shield anyway, just by reserving. So this is actually fairly convenient. Two attacks goes for two. Oh, thank god it can. It's two attack it does take to kill me. It's got a hell of a lot of attack though. I didn't really remember that, to be honest. <laughs> didn't take that into account. Um, that's not an issue though. Right, six blocks. What we're going to go for... You know what, we're going to go for the blocks. Only because I want to be able to reserve a decent amount with the Trudon. And by going with the six blocks here, regardless of what he does, we can sort of cons confirm our survival with this guy. Just because we want to be able to make sure we can getting some decent reservage. So he's actually gone for a flat out two anyway, so he would have killed me quite easily if he only went for one. So two would have been overkill. With that, absolutely perfect. So we go for four reserves and I could go for the three action points, guaranteeing, oh, I'm gonna go for three action points, guaranteeing a kill and I get four reserves. So we got, since we've done that, now if we go for three attacks, it's nice enough, and then one block. Don't think he went for any blocks because he went flat out. Well, I don't think he, I know he did, oh, I should say, good God. <laughs> And then we can basically ensure we're going to kick his lily butt. And then his uh, last guy comes in. 1800 damage. Kills me in one attack anyway. But if he goes for two or three, he's killed me. If he doesn't, of course, he goes for the right amount. Absolutely fine, though. Uh, he's got one attack, one block potential. We can kill him in, I think, three. It would be three, so four would kill him. And then anything above that's overkill. So we're just going to go for a flat out eight, guaranteeing ourselves the kill. And the second to last battle is complete. We've got one more battle. And then we get a lovely jubbly. I've forgotten what it was. <laughs> 
three free pterosaur packs. So we used to get like five or six among uh, like monsters of the Mongolia, whatever place packs and stuff like that. Uh, now we're getting actual creature packs. They best be good and they best have, like buff them because they were pretty horrific before. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and stick in the weird Osaurus because he's pretty much gonna carry the entire team. The Pterodactylus. And then, you know, as I said before, it doesn't really matter because I've not got any major events left to go to tomorrow. And we're probably going to get a tournament tomorrow. We're not certain. It will be pretty damn cool if we do, though. Um, we're going to do plus two attacks. Uh, negative one, just because we've got the um, advantage here. And then, oh, we don't want to sort of go over there. So we're going to go plus four reserves. And then we're going to go plus 100%. We don't want to sort of use any sort of last of uh, one sort of item left. Just because in case they come up with a really, really good deal. Which is unlikely, but it's possible. So flat off the bat, we've got four reserves that we can go straight away. Giving me the chance to put a block in as well as keeping a full reserve option. I am going to switch out to the Demorphodon next turn. Uh, but just because I want to make sure that we preserve the Weirdosaurus. So let's do that now. Uh, I could go for the two attacks and then switch out. No, I couldn't. Sorry, I wouldn't. It wouldn't let me. So that's not a good idea. So I'm gonna go for four reserves here, and then one attack. Just because I'm, I don't know. Why I actually went for one attack. I should go for one block. But I, you, you know what? Let's let's not argue with myself. Just because sometimes I'm dumb. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> Only sometimes. We'll go with that, shall we? Um, he's gone for flat out too. Fantastic. Right. Brilliant. He's killed me there. <sighs> that's not too much of an issue though, because we kill him in two attacks anyway. So, one, two, four reserves, one block. I know that's pretty crazy, but I'm just hoping we can actually get used to Weirdosaurus because he's the best herbivore. And I could probably have done this with a Pterodactylus anyway. Uh, so he's gone up to the 36 one, which is the most powerful. Uh, I can't help but notice there was a quite a common pattern in these battles. All the same creature, around about the same levels. If he gets two attacks on me, he does kill me, but he doesn't. He goes for two out of three, leaving him with a potential of one block. So, that's not an issue. We'll go for three attacks then. We'll take away one of his action points next turn, just in case he goes for the reserve, because I'm not do tag like that. <laughs> then we're going to go for the three attacks. One, two, three, four reserves, and one block. So has he? He know he went for the reserve, so he played it as a reserve, but he doesn't realise now that, of course, we've taken away his one of his action points for next turn. So he, he doesn't get a reserve, he just gets his normal amount of action points. He can kill me in two attacks, essentially, and hopefully he goes for at least three or four, just to make sure we can get that extra bit of damage in there. Doesn't go for anything, in fact. That's not an issue. Pterodactylus actually has enough uh, power here to take him down himself. He can land, he can kill him in two attacks. Uh, we get two attacks automatically, and he's got a maximum, I think, a couple of blocks. I think two blocks. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so, there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, 23,000 damage. Uh, he's dead. And we get our pterosaur pack. So, what do you reckon we're going to get in them? I reckon we're going to get a Zheng Pateris. We'll get a. Ooh, what else will we get? Zheng Pateris, a Lanqua, and then a Tapiara. I think we won't get much of the people, and I think we won't get much resource, to be honest. I don't think it's that good of a pack, so we'll find out. I take it back. It's actually, by the looks of it, a rare pack. I might be wrong, it might be super rare, I'm not certain. I think it's a rare pack. Uh, then we've got Sung Pateris. Uh, I've gotten the wrong Pateris, though. Okay, right, I'll admit that. Straight off the bat. Then we get a 100 buck, 500 DNA. So another, that's 2,000 DNA we've got so far. It's not too bad, not a major issue. It's better than we've got from legendary packs. We've only got bucks. Uh, last pack here, and another 500. So 2,500. And, yeah, you know, subpar sort of actual creatures, but they'll sell, for, you know, probably for, what, 900 DNA in total anyway. So, we've got 2,500, about 3,400 DNA from that alone, so that's not too bad. Then we've got these three parasol for us to sell. Let's see if we can get to 370,000 DNA before we end the video, that is. Uh, oh, don't want to place anything there just yet. Get away. There we go. Um, I don't actually know how many more, like, dinos I've actually got left to, like, sort of hatch, so I should probably look at that, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, it's another pterosaur, pterosaur, parasaur gone. Uh, one more now. Thank you. There we go. So, 368,000. Sell the Tapajara straight off the bat. We've got set over 71,000 uh, bucks now, so I can sort of afford to, you know, about 11,000. I want to keep it above 60k just for the tournament. In fact, 65k. So if we call it 6,000 bucks, I can sort of schmooch to get rid of uh, creatures. Um, in fact, he's got nine sung pterises that we can get rid of, uh, which will give me... It'll cost me just under 400 and... Uh, about 430 bucks, but it'll give me about... You know, just over 2,000 worth of this. It's not really that worth it, actually, to be honest. Um, I want something that's going to sort of be more bang for my buck. So, Parasaur. <laughs> 112. Let's go ahead and sell you. And then we get... How much DNA? Come on. 600. Oh, we just need one more. One more, one more Parasaur, and we've got it. So... Let's sell that one. Fantastic. 
370,000 DNA. Just to clarify, when the Metricanthosaurus tournament comes about, which will be at least three or four weeks from now because we've got a tournament presumably tomorrow or Thursday. Um, we, well, I don't know how long it's going to last for. If the tournament's rather quick, it will be within three to four weeks. If it's a long or one to two week one, we probably won't have it for another month or month and a half. Um, when the Metricanthosaurus to tournament comes around, uh, you want to make sure that you've got for the Metricanthosaurus, I think it was 8,000 DNA, top of my head. It might have been 6,000, I think. Oh, why do I have it in my head that it's 6,000? Because I have 48,000 in my head. So let's just say it is 6,000. Okay, you want to make sure that you have 48,000 DNA to get a level 40 plus discrepancy 52,000. Okay, so 52,000 DNA. Then you want at least, just because of how much it costs, we presume it to be around 50k mark. We're not certain of that. You want to make sure you have at least 400,000. So you're looking at about 450,000 or 480,000 DNA just to be safe to get yourself a level 40 metrified on okay and that's an insane amount of dna dna for an insane creature so we're gonna try and grind it pretty hard we've got about seventy thousand dna to go uh, the next creature that's going to come out though the tournament is confirmed to be a aquatic tournament from what we're aware where is it that it says that right here i believe it does say 20 hours 15 uh, no it doesn't yeah it does 20 hours 15 minutes we presume it's tomorrow aquatic tournament starting soon i I think it's probably going to be the Yamunosaurus, uh, so we will wait for that, to be honest. Um, we'll get it, but I'm not too fussed about getting level 40. Aquatic creatures aren't really you know, a major buzz at the moment. I would love it, though, if it was an actual aquatic tournament, though. Like, you, you had to use aquatic creatures. Obviously, they'd need to nerf the crap out of so much, otherwise you wouldn't be able to win without spending millions of bucks. But I'd like to see that, to be honest. So, essentially, we've got ready for the aquatic tournament right now. We are prepped for that. We're prepped for when the Metrophiodon comes out, and we're back. So, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe. I'm a crazy bit of coming in. I'd super duper appreciate it. The support has been crazy lately, guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I say lately, I mean, like, well, it's always been crazy. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Have a nice day, and ta-ra!